Marie, Morgan Marie Payne. Brittany Nicole Crow. Ashley Marie Reed. Kathleen Robinson. Alyssa Ann South. <laughs> Carolyn Emily Sterner. <laughs> Dertania Mason Jr. <laughs> Lamar Jalen Magruder. Blake Daniel McAllister. <laughs> Perry Maxwell. <laughs> Jacob John Waltermeyer. <laughs> Malachi Lamar Watts Jr. Sean Boychek. Paul Edwin Wells Jr. Yeah! You're my boy, Paul! Tyron Christopher Allen. Jonathan Arbo. Leanna Ariel Thompson. Raina Lee Travis. Taryn Lee Walker. Angelica Tony Brooks. Nettie Warren. Marissa Nicole White. Carrington Suzette Andre Williams. Mariah Danelle Shanta Williams. Ella Suzanne Wilson. Deja Tillman. Kelsey Hebert. Finally, we would like to remember Katera Peyton Danik, who would have been a graduate of the class of 2017. Thank you. Good evening, Hazel Clark. I think I'm reading the wrong speech, sorry. <laughs> about that. Welcome parents, family members, friends, staff members, administrators, Board of Education members, and the Hazel Park community. 
It is my distinct honor to stand here before you this evening. Class of 2017, moments ago, your life changed. You were handed your diploma, the key to your future. As you move your tassel from right to left, reflect upon your four years of high school and how impactful they have been. This year was a year of last. You played in your last high school sports game, performed in your last high school marching band competition or play, participated in your last pep rally and field day, and attended your last high school homecoming and prom dance. But this year was also a year of firsts. You were honored at your first sports senior night, have put your hand on the wall around the class mural, have ordered your cap and gown, have applied to colleges, and are now attending your first graduation ceremony as a graduate. This is it. This is the last time we will stand together as the Hazel Park High School graduating class of 2017. We're all going our separate ways. Some of us will be going off to college. Some of us will be attending trade school or going straight into the workforce. And others of us have made the courageous decision to fight for our country. It amazes me how far we've come together. No matter what your future plans entail, never forget the city you called home for four years or more. Never forget that Hazel Park made you strong. A friend of mine once said, Hazel Park ain't no place for sissies. Here you learn to fight for what your heart desires. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly what is essential as invisible to the eye, le petit cross. Never forget that life is about small victories. Never forget that you've always got room for one more crusade. Never forget the wonderful examples our teachers have set for us. The way Miss Erickson taught us to follow our dreams. The way Mrs. Cruz taught us to see the good in everyone and everything. The way Mrs. McIntosh taught us that friendships last a lifetime and will stay in our heart forever, just like her friendship with Mrs. Gordon and Mrs. Barnett. The way Mrs. Burton taught us that laughter is the best medicine. The way Mrs. Ross taught us to see with our heart and not with our eyes. The way Mrs. Untener taught us to live a little. The way Mr. Pope taught us to persevere through our hardships. Or even Mr. Elstone. To be early is to be on time. To be on time is to be late. And to be late is to be left behind. You're going out into a society that doesn't have the faintest idea of where Hazel Park is on a map or where it is in your heart. You'll meet people who have had everything handed to them and have no idea how it feels to work for something. That's the difference between us and them. You've learned to work for everything you have. You're going out into a society that will judge you on your numbers, your SAT score, your GPA, the amount of financial aid you received, or the money that you brought your school. 
but instead we know that numbers do not define us. We are defined by our goals and how we plan to reach them. Some of us begin our freshman year as a cool breeze. You followed the path that was already laid out before you. You didn't fight the laws or even deviate from the norm. As time went on, you grew into a powerful breed, a force to be reckoned with. You're ready to lay your own path, to lead you into the next chapter of your life. Your voice grew more powerful because of Hazel Park and the opportunities you had. If there is one thing we've all learned during our time here at Hazel Park High School, it's that we are valued. We've all been in a place in our life where we thought we'd never move forward and things would never get better. But sometimes we needed that little bug in our ear to push us onward and upward. And that's just where we're going. Every single one of us is off to do great things. Today marks the last day of your high school career. What are you going to do now? Are you going to get a job? maybe take a road trip to Idaho, or even go skydiving. The possibilities are endless. Coming from Hazel Park is not a drawback. It gives you strength. When you're out living your life, think of this moment. Think of the way you feel right now. The rush of adrenaline, the tears you feel swelling up in your eyes, and the sense of accomplishments that fills your heart. Make sure to visit home often. You have worked 13 years for this moment. Congratulations to all of you. Today is your day. Make sure to make the most of it. I'd also like to thank my family for all of their support and pushing me through these last 13 years of school. Thank you guys. <laughs> Hazel Park Board of Education, Dr. Krupe, family and friends and the Hazel Park community. It gives me great pleasure to announce that the students of Hazel Park class of 2017 have graduated. <laughs> Graduates, you may move your tassel to the left side. of 2017, please stand. It is my pleasure to announce the graduated class of 2017.